This video will take you step by step through the IV installation process and show you how to daisy chain two IV rain barrels. Before getting started, you will need a few tools. Everything else you will need to assemble your IV comes included in the bottom of your barrel. When you receive your barrel, please check that your kit is there. The kit includes an overflow hose, releasable zip ties, a cap, a fall valve, a rubber gasket, and printed instructions. Please make sure to read all of the instructions before beginning. The screen and screen ring come pre-assembled from our factory. It is designed so you can replace the screen if it ever gets damaged. If the ring is too tight, placing the lid in the sun will soften the plastic. Place the rubber gasket in the port where the ball valve goes. It does not need to rest all the way in the back of the port. The ball valve has two different thread patterns. When installed properly, the lever will point away from the rain barrel. Hand tighten as far as you can. Do not use tools to tighten the ball valve. This may damage the threads. It is okay if the valve is not in the exact 12 o'clock position when fully seated. Use the releasable zip ties to secure the lid of the barrel. You will want to secure both sides. The cap friction fits over the port and diverts the water to the overflow hose. It can go on either side of the barrel. Simply pull on the overflow hose to expand the length. The hose also friction fits over the port. Make sure the hose is pointing away from your home's foundation. Before installing, examine your downspout to see if it runs into a drain pipe. If so, measure your downspout and buy the correct size and color elbow at a home improvement store. Flex downspouts will work just fine as well. You may also want to get a pack of gutter screws. Now select a downspout location near your plants that need water the most. Remove the bottom elbow of your downspout. Most of the time it is secured with one or two screws. Make sure you keep all of the hardware. If you live in a cold climate and have heated downspouts, stop here and call a professional gutter installer. Make sure the ground is level and stable. Ivy will weigh over 400 pounds when full of water. You can use gravel if the ground is too soft or sandy. Ensure the base is wider than the diameter of ivy, which is 18 inches. We are using 10 by 16 blocks. They are strong, inexpensive, and look great. Blocks can be purchased at your local home improvement store. There are lots of options available to you. Place ivy on the level blocks to measure where to cut the downspout. Hold the elbow up, leaving room between the bottom of the elbow and the lid of the barrel. You will want to mark your gutter about two inches from the top of the elbow. Now it's time for safety glasses and gloves. Place a piece of scrap cardboard behind the gutter to protect your home. Cutting the downspout will be the trickiest part of the install, but don't be intimidated. Hold the gutter firmly and begin cutting. It will be loud, but take your time. Use your needle nose pliers to crimp the four corners and the elbow will slide onto the downspout. Then secure the elbow with the gutter screws. Place ivy back up on the blocks. Make sure the overflow hose is directed away from your home's foundation. If your gutter ran into a drain pipe, you may want to fix your overflow hose to drain into it. We use some extra screen around the pipe to keep out pests. You may also wish to attach a hose or soaker hose to the ball valve. Remember that ivy is gravity fed, so you will not get any water pressure if the hose is above water level. If you are only installing one ivy rain barrel, you are now ready to start collecting and reusing your rainwater. If you would like to daisy chain two barrels, please continue watching. Daisy chaining your ivy rain barrels is very easy. You will want to build a second platform very close to the first and install the releasable zip ties and ball valve like the first barrel. Install the cap on the first barrel on the port farthest away from the second. This will divert the water into the second barrel. 
you will want to install the overflow hose on the second barrel. Take your second overflow hose and cut it at the joint. You will want to leave plenty of room for the section to fit over the port. I am cutting the hose with scissors, but a box cutter will also work. The overflow connector should now friction fit over both ports. You can also adjust the length of the connector as need be. You are now ready to start collecting and reusing even more rainwater 